The Democratic Alliance in Johannesburg region has dismissed the upcoming motion of no confidence in Mayor Herman Mashaba. They say that it's nothing more than a ploy by the ANC to regain control of ratepayers' money in the country's economic heartland. The ANC's motion against Mashaba is expected to be debated in council on Thursday this week. The DA launched a petition, Save Josie Mayor Herman Mashaba, detailing Mashaba's achievements since taking over after the watershed 2016 local government elections. Joining us now is Jeff Malkubo, who's the chairperson of the ANC in the Johannesburg regions. He joins us now to help us unpack why the need for this vote of no confidence. Why do you want to get rid of um, Herman Mashaba? Um, good afternoon, uh, time to the viewers. Mm. We, we as an ANC uh, have put up a motion of no confidence against the mayor of Johannesburg. And in our motion, we clearly detail the reasons why. Uh, we think that it's time for him to go. Uh, this is premised on the fact that he knows himself that he only got 38% of the votes in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, so so he, he is really governing on the, on, on the behest of other parties, including the EFF itself. The, the, the re one of the reasons is maladministration. They have not as yet um, fulfilled the requirements of what is called M-score. And if they don't reach the deadline, if they don't Meet, meet the deadline of M score, they are bound to lose mm -hmm. the equitable share from, from, from National Treasury. That will plunge the city into untold chaos because um, M, ne, equitable share helps pay for health, helps pay, helps pay for ambulances, etc. etc. Mm -hmm. We say the financial state of the organization is in turmoil. They, they are living from bread to mouth, from, from hand to mouth. They, 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 they the city power, which is a cash cow of the city, uh, is on two billion rands um, overdraft. The collection levels are low. In fact, they boast that they are uh, in the healthy financial status ever. In fact, mm -hmm. they have used savings to bring them into cash to say they've got right. cash of four, let, four let billion rands. Let me ask you this. I mean, he's only been mayor since 2016. Are you saying that in the three years that he's been, two and a bit years that he's been uh, mayor, He's created all these problems and there were no issues before, them, before him. No, no, we're not saying there were no issues before that, but he found a very healthy city. Um, city power had huge surpluses. We were cash positive. In fact, in 2016, 2015, 2016 financial uh, statements will show you that we had about 5.4 5 billion rents in the bank uh, with accounts payable that were less than that. Uh, the city was very healthy. The, the mm. three utilities between City Power, Jobe, Water, and Pick It Up were very healthy. If you look at them now today, um, they are in dire, dire mm. state. Service delivery has, has taken a uh, knock, including the wards that are governed by the, by the DA. The residents are complaining, what 88 residents are complaining. In, in Bryanston, right. residents but, are complaining. But, but the truth is, the voters voted against the ANC in the end. So they lost faith in the way that you'd run the city from 94 through to 2016. Otherwise, you'd still have your uh, candidate as mayor. Yes, we, we, we got 45% of the votes. We are the largest party still in, in, in the municipality. Where I'd, where I'd agree with you is that we did not make the threshold of 50% of plus one to, to, make, to, to govern the city outright. There, there are other issues that we can, we can analyze the elections of 2016, the mood of 2016, the issues that were there nationally in 2016, um, and, and, and we can come to a conclusion why well, the urban it voters... It was reconfirmed again in the, in the Gauteng and national, the provincial elections where your majority slid even more. I mean, you literally just crossed the line. Again, Johannesburg uh, and Botswana Pretoria are the major metros there. Voters then clearly still said, look, we don't trust you. But if you look at the voters in Johannesburg in May, 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 May 2019, mm. we got 53% of the national votes. We got 50% of uh, the provincial votes. So if you look at the turnaround from 2016, I could clearly say we've turned around in Jobek. In fact, it was a referendum on, on, on Mashaba and his government for the first time. They lost 9% of the votes from 38 to 29 mm. in Johannesburg. I'm not talking about Houting. I'm talking about Johannesburg on its own. All right. So this vote of no confidence, the only way it can work is if the EFF abstain from voting and then you win by default in a sense. Isn't that what you're accusing the uh, uh, um, DA of? Uh, that they don't have a majority of their votes? 
We are just reminding them that uh, it's a coalition government um, and the coalition itself comes up to 42% and they say that the EFF is not in coalition. We think that they are all in coalition, making up 52% of the, of the, of the councillors mm -hmm. in, in Johannesburg. Yes, we, 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 we are talking to other parties, we are showing them reason, we are we're talking to small parties and, and we think that they, they are listening to us, mm -hmm. they've heard us and they, they'll support the motion. We are not, the motion is against the mayor, it's not a fight against the DA. Is the, is the motion against the leadership of the city. All right. So if the DA put up another candidate, would you be happy? Well, we'll, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Tomorrow is not election. It's just a motion. We ask for a meeting 10 days from tomorrow if the motion succeeds. And then, of course, talks and negotiations can start. All right. So um, the DA are accusing the ANC this is a ploy and that actually what you want to do is continue to siphon ratepayers' money? Um, you know, it's a broken record. Mm. The, the only thing that uh, the mayor can say, including in the annual financial statements, is that mm. there's 33 billion lost, there's uh, 24 billion rents lost. Even in municipal accounts, uh, public accounts committees or governance committees, we ask for proof. Mm. Not a single shred of evidence has been presented by the mayor uh, or on those things. So, so it's, it's a way to, to mask his incompetence. Mm. So you're saying that there was no corruption before? I, I, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. We, we, had a, we had something called Group Risk and Assurance Services. They had investiga uh, investigations uh, department under that. There were countless investigations. People were fired. People were arrested. I'm not saying in Johannesburg there was no corruption. But I'm saying the scale with which he says the, there was uh, uh, corruption in Johannesburg and everything had collapsed. I mean, 33 billion rands is one year's budget of yeah. the city. Everything would have collapsed. There wouldn't have been mm. houses in Lufering, in South Hills. There wouldn't have been res uh, 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 road resurfacing programs. Uh, uh, it just doesn't make sense. Mm. It's mind-boggling what you say. Well, people are still trying to figure out the Alexandra Renewal Project, for example. That was money that was given to uh, ANC government. Um, and it didn't play out. Uh, we still don't know what happened to that money. Between the provincial government and the city government, um, for the time that I was there, um, the, the, there were certain projects in, uh, the Alexander, um, in Alexander. Uh, for instance, if you look at east of the Tuske and the development from River Park mm. to extension, up to extension, to extension 9, there are various extensions of new houses that were built in Alexander. Three clinics, Togomkoma and other two clinics, the widening of, uh, of uh, Vincent Shavalala Road, the movement of uh, a school and building of a new high school, Kwa um, Pigilanga and the sports complex. So, so there are various projects that happened in Alexander. The only thing that, that, that I can say um, was a problem is that there was an interdict mm. by the property owners in Alexander. Um, so the old Alexander could yeah. not be developed at all. By the time we, we were, well, we, 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 by the time of the 2016 elections, uh, there was an agreement signed between the province ourselves and the landowners to unlock Alexander because we realized that you can't change Alexander without changing the old Alexander. You, you, you can build on the periphery of Alexander, yeah. but that don't help. All right. Okay, so we wait and see what happens tomorrow. Uh, but as you say, uh, your battle is not with the DA, but with Herman Mashaba and... Uh, after the vote, perhaps more discussions will take place. We, we, we open to that. Right. Okay, we'll leave it there. Chairperson of the ANC Johannesburg Re Region, Mr. Makubo, thanks so much indeed for your time, sir. Thank you very much.